Hello again and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. This is a pretty cool looking shot right here. This is a neat looking road. That arch going over top of it. And then you've got Jupiter. It's not really Jupiter. This gas planet. What is that planet up there? I don't remember. We've been on this planet for so long I don't even remember what the name of that other planet up there is. Even if we know it at all, I don't know. Uh, let's take a let's talk to Elroy again real quick. Wanna buy something? Let's see, what do you got, man? Uh, weapons, he's got, um, light machine gun. So, <laughs> remember when I was here before and he had that really, really cool, you know, uh, weapon, the, the dead eye weapon, Mach 2 or Mark 2 or something like that. And I didn't buy it. And then, then I read your comments and made me think that I probably should have bought it, but I didn't. Oh, well, it's gone now. I don't know where it goes. I don't know if it, his inventory rotates in and out or something but um that weapon is gone i don't know i don't think i bought it i'm pretty sure i didn't it seems like i would have remembered it but um yeah it does appear to be gone the dead eye assault rifle two or something like that i don't remember what it was called what are we doing i don't know um we're gonna head towards cascadia this time Cascadia being over here. We kind of explored this area in the last episode. We uh, went to Hayes' grave. So in this episode, let's just go on over to Cascadia. We took a peek at Cascadia in the last episode also. And we saw that there are marauders there. And uh, so we know we're going to have some marauders to deal with. Hopefully not any more manta thingies on our way there. I feel like we pretty much cleared this area, this vicinity out of all the nasties. I hope so anyway. Well, let's just uh, follow this road up here. Just uh, see if we can't walk in the front door of Cascadia. Um, I'm tempted to go in that direction just to see what's around there. I wonder what this is too. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Cascadia can wait. We will probably see nasties out here. Oh, there is a manta pillar there. Oh, I missed him. That wasn't good. He's not dead. Oh, hi. How's it going? How you doing there, Manta Queen? Mega Manta Queen. This, um, could be difficult. It's blind now. Oh, he's got friends, too, it would seem. Oh, oh that looks like a tender spot. Oh, jeez. My, my people are gonna die. Come on. Dog on it, man. I pressed the button to uh, take health. But Ellie is still awake. Or alive. But then Yoka died. I am spamming my button here. This is not going well. Taking health. Oh, dog on it. Well, <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> that was not a good start. <laughs> that was not a good start. Uh, consequences of dying in this game at this level, not too great. I uh, totally did not see the Mega Manta Queen there. I only saw the Manta Pillars and just started shooting them. And um, did not uh, bother to scout the area for uh, larger Manta thingies, uh, even though I should have known better. Um, they tend to run around in groups. Let's try this. Okay, now the Manta Pillars are taken care of, and I don't think anything is coming this way. So I feel like that was a pretty good way to take care of those things. Can I walk up here? Ooh, something, something's eyeballing us over there. Look at that. Something's not too happy with us. Oh man, I want to get up here. Oh man, I really want to get up here. I guess I can't. Oh well. I want to start screwing around here and end up getting killed. 
Uh, we're looking at a, a Mega Manta Queen down there. She's all pissed off that uh, we killed her Manta Pillars. Uh, was there more than just the Manta Queen over there? Was there also other Mantas? I didn't even notice before I died. Didn't even notice. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's go back over here. Okay. Well, she's kind of hiding by over there. Okay. Do a little bit of damage to her there. Okay, here she comes. She can't fit under that, can she? She could hit me, though. I'm on fire. Nice shot. Let's see if she could shoot through these rocks here. Oh, she can. Nicely done. Well, that was pretty cool. Oh, gosh. All oh, these damn swarms. I hate these things so much. Not doing nearly as much damage as I would like to this thing. <laughs> My eye! Okay, the Mega Manta Queen is dead. Need to take care of the swarms. <laughs> Camera doesn't know what to do with itself. Oh, these swarms are nasty, man. Nasty things. There's a bunch of them here. Are we dead? Are they dead? Okay, cool. They're dead. All right. Well, messy, ugly, expensive. <laughs> I can't get over how funny that is when they've got the stuff over their face. It's too funny. All right. We all survived. It only took two tries. Here's the Mega Manta Queen. She's got a carapace, a gland, whole bunch of other stuff. Whole bunch of other stuff. And I don't care about the swarms. Let's move forward. Let's just, um, let's check out this side of Cascadia. Why not? And like I said, I wanted to go over and see what the heck this is. So let's go. Let's go for a little walk. Uh, I think when we were looking at the uh, Manta Queen from a distance, I saw some dead bodies over here. So let's go over here and check them out. Here is a Marauder Thug. Here's those Manta Pillars we killed, or at least one of them. Hmm, look at this person. Sublight thug. Sitting there next to this stinking empty bin, man. Ooh, a tossball card for Marina Bakeshko. Bakeshko has prevented the most foot and hand goals of any darling's goalie, in case you were curious. What are you hiding behind you there, dude? A model spaceship? Cool. Sublight thug. So many a sublight thug met his death here. There's another one, it looks like. Marauder thug. That is Manta Pillar. Marauder thug here. Bunch of bones. Which direction do I want to walk in? This way? Okay, here's that thing we saw on the map. Anybody down here? There's a campfire. Couple campfires there. Uh, looks like no enemies here that I can see. Okay. Pretty peaceful here. Feels like an ambush. Not seeing anything. Oh, here's a bin. 
All right, let's just uh, walk around. Let's see if there's any goodies here for us. Some cots here. Wrapped it on meat. Mm hmm. Let's pick that up. These guys are just sleeping under the stars here. Don't know if these this was the camp of those dead bodies we saw over there or not. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, let me put on my uh, lock picking hat. It's not that big of a deal. Give us a lock pick plus five. Hell of a job. Thanks. Okay. And put my good hat back on. Ooh. Some ammo here. Different varieties of ammo. Now. I may have heard sounds coming from this direction over here. Let's go see. What's up there? Just some multicolored rocks. Okay, and here is a dead end. Looking over in that direction. Look, there's a bunch of bins there. And we're looking over here. Hmm. Interesting. We've been over here before, but we didn't walk this way. I don't remember how far this direction we walked. I think we came here and tried to go back this way, but we're unable to. So then we, we went back around that way, if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool looking. Look at that. The heck is that all about? Wow, that's neat. Are we going to get to walk down there? That is really cool looking. Neato. Huh. Uh, if we look in that direction, um, I think this is where Hayes was. Pretty sure. If there's going to be any marauders patrolling. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Look like a um, scrap mechanical, maybe. Yeah. Those guys don't like uh, weapons with shock on them. So uh, let's, um, let's put that on there. We'll use that against this guy. Oh, a marauder vandal over there. Oh. A hooligan. What's he doing? Laying down? Okay, so there's quite a few of them over here. It's like there's a camp of them. Hey, dude, how's it going? Uh, execute. Okay, he's down. Now I'm going to switch back to uh, my plasma weapon. And, oh, there's a lot of them coming this way. Whoa, who's shooting me and from where? Whoa, who? How the... Is it this guy? Nice work, dude. Give him some credit. That kind of hurts. I didn't even put them to work. What am I hearing? Oh, got him with that N-Ray. Cool. I like it. What's in here? Anything? 
tamed canid. That's who's making all that noise over there. What's this guy got on him? Stuff. Nothing on this guy. <laughs> that guy's loud, man. Listen to this thing. It looks like there's a way to get into uh, Cascadia from here. Look at her sliding forward. And he's dead. All right. Uh, we killed somebody coming around here, I thought. Where'd his body go? Ah, oh, here it is. This pile of ash here. That's all that's left of him. Well, let's explore out here. Then uh, maybe we'll go in. Maybe we won't. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But I thought I saw some bins over here somewhere. I thought I did. Did I walk past them? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's what I saw. That bin right there. It's very important that we uh, look inside of it. Ooh, earrings. I like that uh, neon color up there. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious to go into this sideway over here. Let's let's go peek our head in here and see what's up. Nice and easy. Uh-huh, nice and easy. Cascadia discovered. Not sure what that's supposed to be. See what's back here. Bunch of garbage on the ground. I wonder what's making that sound. An enemy right there. I can't walk over that rock. It can't be done. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at least two enemies walking around in there. Look at all the garbage. What's going on over there? A ladder. And then in here, looks like there's a vending machine right there. And that says uh, bottling plant. Interesting. Rizzo's. What are you guys going to do about it? Oh, here comes somebody. Here we, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, is he looking at his dead friend? Oh, wow. He was waiting for me. And he's dead. Rizzo's. Hmm. Why does Rizzo's sound familiar? We've heard Rizzo's mentioned. I think Rizzo's just, like, makes products, maybe. Maybe that's why I've heard of them. Vending machine discovered here. Sell off some of this stuff. I'm carrying a lot of stuff around. This is a Rizzo's vending machine. What are you selling, dude? Nothing I'm interested in there. Um, some pretty good armor. This is that pretty pink and blue stuff. And, you know, just some health items. Alright, nothing I'm interested in. Uh, let's sell our junk. And uh, we'll sell some weaponry I'm not interested in. Sell that stuff off. And then uh, some armor here that I'm not interested in. 
science plus three. I don't know if I have any more science plus three or not. There's one right there. Uh, this one's better, so we'll get rid of this one. Okay, that's good for now. I got a bin here. I got some stuff sitting on the desk. Got to pick it up. I really like that sign. That is really, really cool looking. Really cool looking. This abandoned web lab weapon we're looking for is real, real close by. There's an enemy walking over there. But uh, let's look at this terminal. Rizzo. Rizzo's new purpleberry crunch. Now with more of that purple flavor you love. Uh, Ritz, Rizzo, Rizzo, I don't know, Inc. Distributed messenger terminals. An error has occurred when trying to access message archives. Available message threads are listed below. Please note that unauthorized access of Rizzo Inc. message content is a felony. If you say so. Here is Public Notice 117. Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board. Public Notice 117 on the issuing of a hazard clause for Terra 1. This notice, issued on January 12, 2343, serves as the public denouncement of Terra 1 as a feasible workplace environment. Due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsustainability of its natural flora for use in human consumption, the Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board has officially enacted a hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra 1. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra 1 will be officially considered illegal territory, as this is a unanimous decision any corporation caught operating on Terra 1 after the evacuation period will face fines and possible disbarment, as defined in Halcyon Code 22.1. We've actually read that before. Uh, to Theodore T. Pauline B. Subject regarding the hazard clause. So it looks like originally Theodore, or no, uh, Z. Sumner, or maybe Sumner Z wrote to Theodore, Theodore T and Pauline B. Um, hmm. Uh, it's, it's uh, anyway. Um, do I read it from the top? Do I read it from the bottom? I guess we'll read it from the top, even though that seems backwards. I've received confirmation that Rizzo will soon abandon Terra One with the rest of the corporations. We are expected to maintain our exports until the day we leave. All teams will continue to operate until told otherwise. As of this time, I don't see the need to inform anyone outside the three of us of the board's decision. We don't want our workers thinking they're going to be reassigned. Just let them do what they do best, their jobs. Thanks, Sumner. And then Theodore writes back, Does this change our priorities at all? Should we begin scuttling research and focusing more on the exports? Sumner says, No, we'll hit our export quotas for the next seven months at least. Project Taro is still our number one priority. Uh, from Rizzo Directorate, subject shuttle redistribution. Uh, Mr. Ziegler, we regret to inform you that the shuttles en route to the bottling facility at Cascadia have been rerouted. The evacuation effort is prioritized in order of profitability, measured chiefly by export volume, and as of this time, other facilities have proven themselves either more profitable or more efficient. The distribution system will send the minimum one shuttle for evacuation purposes. If you have more personnel than can fit on a standard shuttle, Rizzo recommends establishing a priority system so that the loading and preparation of that shuttle can proceed smoothly. Please be advised that any attempt to load more than the maximum amount of human resources onto the shuttle will be met with forceful intervention. Warm regards, your friends in the Rizzo Inc. Directorate. And then Sumner wrote back and said, What of Project Taro? Surely it warrants additional resources. And they write back, Mr. Ziegler, research projects are not taken into consideration when calculating the profitability of any given settlement. Project Taro's importance may place it higher on your priority list, but we are still unable to send more than one shuttle for evacuation. We suggest you balance your resources accordingly. That sucks. Uh, to Theodore and Pauline, bad news. We get one shuttle. By my estimate, the Project Taro assets, both human and otherwise, will take up approximately two-thirds of our available space. That leaves us and a couple more people we can take with us. 
We need to decide how we're going to decide who else to take. Perhaps a subcommittee to draft a decision-making plan? Uh, and then Theodore writes back and says, You know me, Sumner. I love subcommittees. But any decision we make is going to end up with pissed off workers. Let's just ride out with the tarot crew. We'll enjoy a bit of extra legroom. Once we're safe on T2, we can see about getting another shuttle sent out. Pauline says, seconded, what will we tell the workers? Sumner says, we tell them that we're going to get them out. They just won't know it'll be one shuttle at a time. It's fine. Do not tell them about the hazard clause. Our goal is to get out of here peacefully. No incidents. I don't want panic. I don't want a riot or law forbid a strike. <laughs> That's even worse than a riot. Once we're out, we'll send word back with further plans. Until then, keep this among us. Huh, I wonder if they were successful in this. Successful in keeping everybody in the dark. Successful in sending back another shuttle. I wonder. I wonder if I'll ever get an answer to that. I wonder if I've already gotten the answer and I just don't remember it or realize it. Oh, well, there was an enemy in this direction at one point. I don't know where he went. A door here that I can't open. Okay, two enemies over there now. Oh, there's some stairs that go up there. Uh, we can go that way to the abandoned lab weapon. a safe in here. Like a little break room or something maybe. Here's a terminal over here. Well, let's see if the terminal will allow us to unlock this thing so I don't have to use my uh, mag picks. Let's see. Uh, welcome to Rizzo's Employee Monitoring and Human Resources Portal. View data. Uh, executive reviews here to assess your progress grab a can of Rizzo's purpleberry punch sit back and learn how you can sweeten your career note all employee reviews are property of Rizzo misuse of data may result in fines loss of employee perks and negative reviews here is an executive re review for Zora Blackwood um did we meet Zora I feel like we met a Zora somewhere Kali was that on this planet I don't even freaking remember Oh, Zora is, um, that's right, Z it's Zora and Graham, right? Zora is uh, one of the Iconoclast leaders. Zora is a top-notch sawbones with a good head for working under pressure. She knows how to assimilate large amounts of detailed information to make quick decisions. Her competence and decisiveness have allowed her to restore more than a few limbs and digits lost to carelessness around the machinery. Recommend for Employee of the Month. Here's... Uh, here's uh, Executive Review for Cecil McClure. Uh, Cecil's enthusiasm for Rizzo's products is unmatched, and he displays an impressive knowledge of company products. He's exactly the kind of worker we need to keep at our storefronts. Do not promote beyond store manager. Do we know Cecil? We could export the Executive Review for Zora Blackwood... To external data pad, okay. You've gained Zora's executive review. Please remove your data pad from the transfer socket. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Why do I have this? Uh, is there a quest where I was supposed to pick this up? I don't know. Sometimes we do quests in the wrong order. This may be one of them. I don't know. Uh -huh. But it's neat to know that she she worked here. Kyle Radu. Okay, that was kind of neat. Let's go up this like ramp here. See what's going on up here. Hmm. Interesting. What's this thing? Mechanical sentry. Who killed all these people? 
Who did this? I didn't do this. Don't blame me. I didn't do it. A lot of stuff here. Glad I stood up and looked in there. I would have missed that otherwise. Hm. Interesting. Who did this? Workbench here. Uh, another Rizzo's vending machine. Not really selling anything I'm interested in, it doesn't look like. Yeah. That's okay. We'll sell this. And uh, we'll sell that. And we'll sell that. Well, I kind of like this thing. Wow. Extra plasma damage and extra N-ray damage? Hmm, I might give that to one of my companions. Let's see, what are they wearing right now? Ellie is wearing um, this thing. Gives her extra melee damage. 47, wow. This thing's a 36, but gives her extra plasma and N-ray damage. We're going to put that on her instead. Uh, workbench. I don't think I need to use that. Bunch of stuff sitting around here. Hmm. Got a locked door here. Exit, it says. Yeah, let's pick it. Okay, so we got somebody over there. Okay. Alright, let's see if anybody... Oh, oh, is somebody going to come running over here? Yep, somebody's coming. Oh, he turned around and went back. Looks like they might be down below. Oh! The guy's standing there waiting to come in. That guy has a flamethrower or something. <laughs> Shut him up. That's what she's standing there right next to him. <laughs> she's dead. He's dead, Yoka. Yeah, come back in here. Don't go running out there, okay? What I just what did I just say to you? Hmm? That's weird that this guy's name is still over top of him. Is he dead or not? Kind of weird. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, that ought to take him down. No, it didn't. There we go. Okay, cool. He's down. Everybody okay? I guess we're in worse shape than I thought. Ellie was almost dead. I had half of my health left. Oh, hey, how's it going? Take all these stupid hooligans. Stupid marauders. Brandon Rosser. Um, There's still somebody over there in that direction. According to my compass. So this abandoned lab weapon we're looking for is going to be in there. My weapon needs to be repaired. Sometimes it's not easy to see that down there at the bottom of the screen. Let's um keep walking on this elevated walkway here. Yeah, it didn't stay elevated for very long now, did it? Okay, so this is what we were looking at from over there. Huh, that's kind of neat. You want a punch? Oh, yeah, you want a punch? We've got your punch right here. <laughs> well, we can't get into that building. Let's see if there's anything behind it. Mm, doesn't look like it, does it? 
Oh well, that's okay. We're awful close to that abandoned lab weapon. Looks like there's going to be an enemy in there next to it, huh? Just seeing if there's anything back here. Other than garbage. Hmm. Body here, a residence. An empty bin. Well, if I had a flashlight, I'd turn it on, but I don't have a flashlight. Some garbage lying here. So, just some ras random resident laying back here by an empty bin. Oops. All right, let's go in here and take this guy out. Typical store. We've seen a lot of buildings with the same layout. There's a terminal. Uh, interesting the way the light is shining on that screen. That's pretty neat looking. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is Cecil McClure's terminal. You have been on shift for 88,536 hours. How long is that? You have earned a five minute break. <laughs> Why not enjoy a knock you out bar main menu? Supervisor override, begin transaction, view current inventory. What is all this stuff? View current inventory. Well, nothing's in stock. This is uh, Rizzo's po point of purchase operating system. Nothing is in stock. Begin transaction. Supervisor override. What is this stuff? Password is required for this action. Enter password antediluvian. Um, that sure does sound familiar. Um, golly. Um, we may have gotten this from. A data pad, maybe. Remember we got a data pad liberated from a corporate patrol. Mentions a research facility in the wilderness. I guess that's where we are now. Search the facility to see if it contains a science weapon. But I remember seeing that word antediluvian somewhere. But uh, heck if I remember where it was. Um, sublight data pad. Damaged UDL data pad. We can't read it. But uh, it doesn't mention antediluvian at all. Hmm. Um, battered Mardet data pad. This is new. Oh, this is Zora's executive review. This review praises Zora Blackwood's competence and decisiveness. Rizzo's people are its 56th ingredient, okay? Well, who knows, man? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, um, begin transaction. What's this? Uh, what is this stuff? Did you greet the customer by saying, welcome to Rizzo's sweet shop? We've got your candy handy. How can I sweeten your day? Uh, yes. Have you offered the customer a slap? Sales of lemon slap are down. Remind our customers how refreshing a good slap is. Try saying, thirsty friend, nothing beats a zesty slap. Okay. What am I doing? Retrieving inventory data, error retrieving current inventory transaction canceled. Okay, whatever. Let's enter this uh, password. Activating backup. You've lost bloody note. Okay, I guess that's where I saw antediluvian. Um... <laughs> Rizzo's candy has been scientifically proven not to give cavities. Five out of five Rizzo company doctors agree, based on the average lifespan of colonists. Override accepted welcome, doctor. Activating backup generators, enabling elevator, opening secure door. Okay. All right. I guess had I not done that, we would have come across a door I couldn't get through. Perhaps. I don't know. It's all good. Now I wish I would have remembered to look at that bloody note. You know, now that it's gone, I can't look at it anymore. Oh, there's the elevator right there. Interesting.
Hey dude, how's it going? I got some bad news for you. Boy, he jumped out of his seat quickly. Uh, there's a resident sitting there. It's kind of macabre. This guy, this uh, th marauder was just sitting here with his dead body behind him. Of course, now I'm going to loot this place with two dead bodies over there, so. It's okay, though. I killed the bad guy. It makes it okay. Okay, we shot this guy from across the way. Pick up some more mag picks. That's always good. Yeah, we were over there. Causing all kinds of trouble. Here is a locked door. And it's a room full of goodies. I like goodies. Okay. Well, let's go down and see where that elevator takes us. I guess it's going to take us to the secret lab where um, we're going to get this uh, science weapon, maybe. Transition to Rizzo Secret Laboratory. Sure, why not? Let's transition there. Check this place out. I'm sure it's going to be lousy with enemies. Uh, space Crime Continuum, enter the secret lab, and Cascadia, signal the unreliable. Really? What the heck's going on? Space Crime Continuum. This is a faction quest. Lilia Hagen, or Hagen, I don't know, has a lead on some expensive salvage. When the board abandoned Monarch, several factories and research facilities were left mostly intact. While the majority of those locations have previously been stripped of valuable resources, sublight agents on Monarch recently discovered a hidden laboratory with a cache of Alta Vitae gas. Lilia needs an independent captain to retrieve the salvage. Okay, here's the here it is right here. There's the passcode. We located Lilia's agent, or what remains of him anyway. He had a note on his body with a passcode antediluvian. I knew I saw that word somewhere. Uh, signal the unreliable that Alta, Alta Vitae gas is going nowhere without heavy transport. To get the gas off world, signal Ada from the message terminal in the Cascadia lab. She'll find her way to the landing pad. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, go for a walk in here. But nobody set foot in here since Cascadia fell. You think? Well, if that's the case, I don't need to be sneaking around here. I could just stand up and walk around. Because uh, Nyoka thinks there's going to be no enemies here. Rizzo's Spectrum. Spectrum Vodka. A glass for every class. That's a nice thought. Well, not that there's classes, but, you know. At least every class gets a glass. Pardon me. Purpleberry lunch, purple berries, crackers, cheese, and pea-free nuts. There's always time for purpleberry lunch. Non-organic. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Bard. Oh my. Oh crap, I can't get in there. Oh no. I need 75 lockpick to get in there, man. Uh, maybe it was her I heard walking around. I heard footsteps. Vending machine discovered. Well, if you say so, game. Ooh. Well, what do you know? Looks like there are going to be enemies in here, huh? What do we got? Nothing. Uh, you know, the same old stuff. Nothing I want. Sell my junk. Sell some more weaponry I've picked up since the last time I did this. I've been playing um, Fallout 76 and I have a mutation called marsupial that lets me jump real high 
So I keep thinking that I'm going to jump real high in this game, but I'm not. Oh. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo <laughs> identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Uh, let's see here. Disengage security protocols. I'm not a threat. Uh, I left my ID in the wash or attack. You can't fire me. I quit. Well, let's see what happens if we say this. Attempting to disengage security mm. protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Oh, crap. Uh, we could lie. I'm an authorized... I am an authorized Rizzo employee. Password antediluvian. Wait, wait, wait. Unprime weapons on prime. Or attack the hard way it is. Let's see if we could lie to this guy. Executive level password nice. accepted. Cool. As identification according to employee ID protocol A-3501. Welcome back, doctor. Be advised. Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution. Mantasaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Have a productive day. Oh, I thank you, Mechanical Guardian MK2. Thank you very much. Uh, but apparently, there are uh, mantas down here, which is not what I wanted to see. What the? Oh. It said that I discovered another vending machine. Oh, yep, there it is over there. Ooh, an actual mantasaur drone here. Hello, how are you? Hello. Just, uh, you know, coming through employee number, blah, blah, blah. Another vending machine. More junk to sell. Nothing interesting to buy here, I don't feel like. I guess this was maybe like a break room or something. Cafeteria menu, Monday Borst. Tuesday Borst Soup, Wednesday Borst Surprise. <laughs> Thursday Borst and Beans, Friday Beans and Borst. <laughs> uh, nutritional menu plan tested and certified by C&P. Whoa. Okay. Nyoka, come here. Don't go in there. Well, we're going to hang out here with our new robot friends. And end this episode here when we come back next time. Uh, we keep exploring this place because it's fun to explore. We already know that we're going to have some mantas that we need to fight. So, not too jazzed about that. But you do what you gotta do. And it's looking like I am cool. I don't need to get in here anyway. Looks like there's going to be another way to get in. So that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Let me like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.